So, um, I just wanted to do a super fast um, rundown of this new item that I picked up today. I was at my JCPenney's and there's a Sephora on the inside and I picked this little guy up. Now, I just have to start off by saying that the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette is one of my absolute favorite palettes. It might be my absolute favorite one because I take that sucker with me traveling every single time that I travel. Look at the edges of my original palette. Like, <laughs> you can tell how much I love this baby. So this is the original one and you can tell I have some dips in a lot of these and this one I've even hit pan on. So I love this thing to death. So when I heard that Urban Decay was releasing a, you know, a follow-up to this beautiful little thing right here, I was super ecstatic and I was even happier when I found out that my Sephora actually had them, they just hadn't put them out on the shelves yet. So here is the beautiful little gem right here. Um, I noticed something, if you have the um, regular Naked palette, the Basics palette kind of um, color matches with it, so it has like the brownish black, like the really dark brown naked writing on the top, as well as the original palette has the brown writing. So the um, Naked 2 Basics palette kind of coincides with the Naked 2 palette. So this one has like this silver writing and this is in a silver tin. So you can kind of see how they coincide a little bit. I just thought that was kind of cool. But I did some swatches. You might be wondering how they compare to each other. Um, you might be wondering, is it a necessity to pick up? And <laughs> no, it's makeup. Of course it's not a necessity. If you love the Urban Decay Naked palette line, yes, it's probably, you know, something that you'll want to be picking up. If you love the original Naked ba Basics palette, it's probably going to be something you want to pick up. So here they are, side by side. You can tell that, uh, well, let's, let's hold them up more so you can see a difference between the shades. So there you go. And this is the number two, and this is the original up here at the top. Um, these are definitely, down here, these are definitely more gray-toned, taupey shades. And that just uh, makes me so happy. And these are more of like a neutral kind of a look. Um, I would probably bet that they're going to release a Naked Basics 3 palette. They'll coincide with the, you know, the third Naked palette that they released. Well, that was weird. I just had a light flick on. I don't know if you noticed that. So, I just kind of wanted to, um, here's the swatches. You can kind of compare the shades side by side. And so with the original Naked Basics palette, um, you have a lot more options with the lighter shades. And then you have like two darker colors that would be more like transition shades and then a black so you could have as a liner or you can just deepen up your crease. With the Naked 2 Basics palette, you have um, more of a variety of the darker shades as well as um, you have the one, there's only one that has shimmer and it's the very top one. Its name is Skimp and it's this guy right here at the bottom. It's the only one with any shimmer. If you have this Urban Decay Feminine palette uh, right up here, this top cream shade, that is skimp. So if you have this guy, you have skimp. And I'm I'm happy to have a backup of that since I have hit pan on my one from the feminine palette. So um another really fantastic idea with this, not only can you use this really deep shade right here, this undone for a liner, but you can also use primal or undone, depending how dark your hair is, is like a eyebrow. Like instead of taking some eyebrow products, just use one of these two to fill in your eyebrows and that'll cut down on what you have to take when you're going traveling. So 
I was just really excited and I came home I took off all of the makeup on my eyes and um, I threw on my makeup what I have on right now is actually from this palette so I don't know I'm sure that YouTube's gonna be flooded with um, tutorials with this palette and how it coincides with other ones and you know other options but if you would like a tutorial on this eye look let me know I I don't mind filming it um, so my, the bottom line is if you want a really condensed version of one of the naked palettes picking up either one of the basic ones is a good idea so let me show you something really quick here um, let me see if I can hold this up together so you can see this is the original Naked Basics and this is the original Naked palette and they just kind of look this looks like a more condensed version of this guy on the top so as you can tell this definitely is just a condensed version of uh, the Naked 2 palette up at the top so beautiful beautiful shades I'm super ecstatic to have a little mini palette that I can take traveling with me so I <laughs> don't end up breaking my um, original Naked Basics palette. So really happy about that. Just wanted to share kind of the comparisons and the uh, swatches. So that's all I have and I thank you guys so much for watching.